Hi there, this is Courtney Long, Angel Communicator and Life Purpose Intuitive. Welcome to this week's Intuitive Angel Insights for the week of October 31st through November 6th and happy Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. Working with this week with the Flower Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I'm calling on all of our angels of love and light, including Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael and God, Source, Spirit, Universe, asking for guidance for the week. I've got a nudge just up here. I'm going to draw the second card. Okay, that was fast. Okay, these two cards. And how funny, i got a nudge to draw this card, a second or a third card. For, sorry. First card, purification, white rose. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that, that rose is. And right away, just as you look at that rose, notice how you feel. For me, when I look at that rose, my heart opens and I have this sense of peace and a sense of almost like nourishment and trust, a sense of hope. And it says, by purifying your life of negative people, places and experiences, you attain true peace. Oh, let me hopefully I'll come into focus. There we go. So basically what the angels are saying with this one, they're really cheering you on for changes that you're making um, to be more in alignment with your truth, with your soul, aligning your mind, your body, and your soul together. And it may involve purging or releasing situations, relationships, job, maybe even a job, um, activities, even conversations they're, they're even showing me if let's say as an example you tend to get into gossiping kind of conversations with friends and it doesn't mean you have to just release those friends but maybe you decide that you want to stop gossiping because when you gossip it helps or um, it, it makes you feel just kind of like a low vibration of negativity so so just they're saying really be in alignment take stock of who you are what your values are and they're, I'm just giggling, sorry, they're distracting me because the angels are showing me this bright yellow smiley face and they're just kind of being silly and playful. But they're really saying, take stock of who you are and make sure that everything that you do is really in alignment with who you are. If you really value joy or you really value compassion and love, make sure that you're emanating those energies, that, that all the activities that you do are in alignment with joy, with compassion, and with love. And they're just saying, really trust yourself. Not everyone's going to understand what you're doing for purification. And, and it might mean you need some extra time alone in contemplation or solitude or prayer or meditation or self-care. It might even mean doing some kind of purification for your body, whether some kind of cleanse or dietary changes. They're saying you know what to do already. If you, could, <laughs> They're suggesting, this is so cute, they're suggesting that, that each of us makes a list of 10 things that we know that we quote unquote should be doing and, and stick to those things. We already know our angels are always talking to us and, and our soul knows what's for the highest good for us. So just really, really be honest with yourself about what you need to do right now in your life. And don't, you're saying don't give up. Don't, what, why are you saying don't negotiate? Angels help me understand that. They're saying kind of like don't compromise, but some of these things are not up for negotiation. They're just musts in your life. Kind of like we need food and water every day to sustain our energy and to survive. Um, and of course, yes, you can do fasting and whatnot if that works for you. But in general, we need food and water every day to survive. And so some of the things that you're being guided to do, they're non-negotiables. They're just as important to your life as food and water for your, your well-being and your, your health and vibrancy. Okay, second card. Oh my gosh, this is not surprising at all. It's world energy, world energy. And the flower on this one is agapanthus. I hope I'm saying that right. And it says, the earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. You're not alone. Accept the help of others. Accept the help of others. And if you look at all of these sweet little flower petals, there's so many of them. And it's really, really reflecting how we are all connected. And there are people in this world to help you. Just like a few weeks ago, the angel said to activate your web of support. There are people in the world who want to help you and people that you naturally help as well too. But one of the reasons this card is coming up right now is because of the presidential election in the United States. And what the angels are saying is to, to be in a lot of prayer and and maybe even meditation, but basically to hold a vision for the highest good to unfold. You may think you know what the highest good should look like, but 
but maybe maybe we don't know for sure but but what the angels are suggesting is if you could just surround all government officials with beautiful blessings of love and maybe even ask them to be surrounded with light if that's for the highest good but but just send love for the highest good to unfold for the presidential election in the United States and really all government elections that we're going through right now. And if you live in other country, in a different country than the United States, um, just if you could also send love to our country and we are sending love to your countries as well and just really sending love to the world for peace, for healing, for cooperation, for people getting along and really for for the whole evolving of our world of our planet and even for mother earth herself so basically what the angels are suggesting is they're showing me an, a ring of flowers like a circle of flowers coming together that it's time to stop to stop believing in separation and in any kind of divisiveness but to see how we are all connected and we do have to work together as people and as um, inhabitants of this planet and really, really embody love. And so if you feel helpless in any way, like, oh, this election is just getting out of hand or you're worried about what's going to happen, the angels are saying to really, really trust that all is happening for the highest good and, and just hold the space of love in your heart. And, and that is what's important and that's what's going to create the positive changes in our world. Okay. And the third card this week is patience. Patience. The flower is begonia. And it says your prayers have been heard and they have been answered. Your prayers have been heard and answered. And the angels want you to know that they are with you. They are loving you and holding you. They appreciate you so much. They want you to be happy. They want the best for you. And just know that things are happening in divine timing. Trust in that and ask your angels this week for a boost of faith, for a boost of that, you know, that sense of patience and trust and, and just kind of be, they're saying just be in communion with them. Be in communion with your angels in conversation with your angels. Sometimes they say words and I'm like, wait, we might not use that word here. <laughs> but anyway, be in conversation with your angels. <laughs> the meaning is the same, but, but just changing the word a little bit. Anyway, the angels love you and they want you to know that what you want is happening and is coming true. And there's just so many unseen factors that are unfolding and they're just saying keep the faith and be in a sense of joy and be in a sense of flow. They're showing me a lot of water and movement and almost like if you could go swimming and you're just in that sense of flow. So be in a sense of flow. It might even involve moving your body, doing things that just um, almost affirm that you do know that your manifestations are happening, that things are unfolding perfectly. You could just say thank you a lot this week. Thank you so much. God, angels, source, spirit, thank you so much that everything I want is happening and that um, I'm safe, that all is well. Thank you so much for all the blessings in the world. Just say a lot of thanks. That is actually a very, very powerful tool for manifestation to, to thank the universe in advance for what you want as though it's already happening. Okay, just see if there's anything else. They're saying with the purification card, you know what to do. Trust your guidance on this one. World energy also shield yourself with lots of light because of possibly being affected by world energy and being sensitive to what's going on. Just stay, uh, stay positive as much as you can and then ask the angels to surround you with light. Just call on light yourself to kind of shield or cushion yourself with light and just again trust that all is well. Send lots of prayers for the highest good to unfold and then be patient. Be patient with yourself and be patient with the process and talk to your angels. They want to comfort you. And the more you talk to them and connect with them, the more that you can let them in and that they can really, really comfort you. Oh, what a beautiful week. I hope that it's a beautiful week for you. I hope that you can feel all the love that's inside of you and that you not just give love, but also receive love and feel that love flowing beautifully within and all around you. There will be a free webinar coming up a little bit later this month. I'll keep you posted next week. I'll give you more details, but it's a free webinar called Angel Abundance. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you have just a beautiful, beautiful week. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. I'll talk to you soon.